Before we get started, please consider smashing that like button and subscribing if you enjoy our content. Don't forget to hit the bell to turn on notifications for future updates. What's up, Darkalicious? This is Lydia here, and we are watching the CRS-19 mission, uh, which is uh, from, of course, SpaceX. And uh, so this is the uh, commercial resupply uh, to the space station, and this is the 19th time they're doing it. So still as cool as the first time, because I feel like we're always learning, and, you know... Um, Every successful mission that they have just kind of like builds their street cred. Uh, so anyways, and this is I think the third time they're using the same nose cone, which is very important because every time they reuse something, you're saving money. So they're actually making, um, they're making space affordable. They're making it attainable in our lifetime. Hopefully by the time I'm 80, I can go to Mars and just kind of relax on the red sand. That'd be wonderful. Okay. Oh goodness. Okay. We're at 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, all right. Yes. Oh, can't see anything. Yay. Okay. Looking good fellas. Looking good, but as we know, Max Q is kind of where explodies can happen, so we're gonna make sure that hopefully we don't get to that point. Okay, yay, but so far, so good, looking awesome. Wow. Oh god, I love space so much. Send me up there with you! <laughs> this is awesome. Oh man, I love it. I love it. I love SpaceX, I love what they're doing. Just keep on keeping on, as Sam Porter Bridges would say. If you haven't played Death Stranding, you should. Nominal's good. Nominal's very good. On its way to the International Space Station for its 19th commercial Ooh, service mission. that's good. See, and it's commercial, which means that, like, it's not NASA just taking, like, 16 years. It's like, they, these guys are doing it. Okay, 16 seconds, we got Max Q. Oh god, okay. Okay, oh god. Oh, we're supersonic. Fabulous. Okay, Max Q, come on, Max Q, come on, Max Q. Oh, okay. We good? Are we safe? I hear people clapping. Okay, hooray, we're clapping! <laughs> Max Q! Yay! Now we're gonna uh, going to Miko and then boost back, and then the nose cones coming off, and then uh, I think the air. Ooh la la! Look at that! It's like a flyery flower. Aww. Miko, main engine cutoff. Hmm. Followed by the uh, start of the boost back burn of our first stage. I like how they always have like different voice actors. I don't know if that's called hosts. What are they called? Anyways, there's always different voices, which is really exciting. Keeps it like fresh and new and stuff, right? Mm, look at that nice flat earth. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay, anyways, but yeah. I love it. Aww. So nice. This is the thing that comes off. Inside the two stages, as we wait for stage separation. And it like the one thing. Oh wow, that's really shaky footage. Oh boy. Oh yay! I like when that thing on the right inflates. It's like woo. We did it. We did the thing. Yay! And that ring always comes off on the right there. It always just like pops right off. Just had a good main engine cut off, a good stage That's gonna go nice and red on the right. It has about a, a six minute burn ahead. And then on the left side of your screen, that is a oh, forward looking view from our first stage where the What's that thing wiggling around? That's new. Shut down here in just a few seconds. How is it wiggling? Is there no wind in space? I guess it, oh, probably like free, free flowing. There's no gravity in space either, so it's just doing its own thing. And then you just oh, the nose cone! The screen there for Woo! The stage camera. That was the nose cone Off it goes! Being deployed. Yay! Uh, the nose cone of Dragon being deployed means we've left a majority of Earth's atmosphere. Very uh, good. Power, second stage powers Dragon uh, to the International Space Station right now. Mm. 
I love how like, like so precise. Oh no, there it goes. What's that on the left there? Wee wee. <laughs> what is that? I don't remember seeing that before. Uh, flopping around doing its thing. Hopefully that doesn't mean catastrophic things to happen. What is that? Let me know in the comments below what the heck that is. The floppy thing on the left. It's going up now. In order to make its way back to our drone ship, of course I still love you. Of course I still love you. Oh, I love that. Three burns. Yay! It's a boost back burn, which is meant to slow the rocket down and orient it for re-entry. Very good. It also helps Falcon 9 laterally return to the drone ship. Shortly after this first burn is initiated, the grid fins, which you saw earlier on the left side of your screen, mm. they're located near the top of the first stage, mm. are deployed to help guide the rocket during descent. Harry, I love the grid fins, so the cute. Burn, Falcon 9 executes its re-entry burn to slow itself down before hitting the dense part of the Earth's atmosphere. Lastly is the landing burn, which happens just before touchdown to take the booster softly down to the drone ship. I don't know, I'm feeling... Five minutes and the second hmm. is on its way to drop hey. I feel like there's a lot more going on this time. Like, is that a rat? Is that a rat? Eastern time just a few minutes ago. Did anyone see that thing moving? What was that? As I mentioned earlier, what was that? Grid fins deployed on the left side of your screen. I feel like something's different. Start angling back towards the Earth's I think that's a rat there. Oh my god. On the right, do you guys see it? It's like this gentleman here. What is that? What? It moved again! Huh? This is a lot different than normal. I feel like, feel like on the right, this, the, the... That's not inflated as much as it usually is. On the left, there was something like floating around there. What is that? There's no way a rat could survive in the vacuum of space. Impossible. Something was moving, though. And I've never seen it move before. Unless, like, am I that dense? Did it take me 19 times to figure this out? What is that? There's two of them. Stage two continues on nominal trajectory. Huh. Okay, that's not puffy enough. Okay. It's looking a lot more smoky and not as red as usual. Am I crazy? Okay, not. Is there two of them? Okay, now it's looking nice and red, but still not inflated as much as it should be. Oh, here we go, entry burn. Here we go, guys. Yay! Okay. Okay. Beautiful. And grid fins are doing their little wiggly dance. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what's going on today. Am I out of it? Or are these just things that are normally not happening happening? I guess after 19 times, something is, might not just happen. Okay. Oh, landing burn. Landing burn. This is my favorite part. I love when... I love when the thing returns to the drone ship. Oh, my God. The rocket. Sorry, not the thing. <laughs> when the rocket returns to Earth. Unharmed. That's my favorite. No! Come on! Show us! Show me! Show me the truth! I want to see it! Looks like we lost our feet <sighs> oh, no. oh no! Okay, well, landing burn has started, so that's okay. Maybe just the GoPro's kind of gone a little fuzzy-wuzzy. After 19 times. It's probably using a new GoPro. What is that thing moving? Maybe they're like ball bearings or something. Oh, here we go, here we go. Here we go, come on. Oh, 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 oh. What's going on? No! Oh, come on. Oh, no. Wait, oh, oh, there it is. Yay! <laughs> Fabulous. Good. Good. Oh, my God. That's insane. That's insane. Wow. Wow. That's great. That's great. And like, the, the drone ship is like the hardest thing. Because like, the sea is a dangerous mistress, you know? No one can tame it. But it's like, they still manage to do it. Like landing it on a dime. Fabulous. Standing by. We'll shut down a second stage engine, and then we'll have dragon deployment about a minute after that. That's looking wiggly. Ooh, that's very wiggly looking. Has it always been so wiggly? 
And we have shutdown and confirmation of a good okay. orbit. Okay. Good orbit, yes. Thank God. Second stage has one last major task. Ah. Demanding separation of Dragon less than a minute from now. We should have some video of okay. separation from Dragon from the top of second stage. Separation of Dragon from the top of second stage. Nice view of Dragon's hmm. unpressurized cargo trunk, and we'll be able to follow the space Oh, here we, we go. Separation for about a minute after separation. There's that camera view on your screen right Ooh now. Oh la la. This guy seems very knowledgeable. Good job, red shirt man. Right Thank you. And hear the confirmation of that. Okay. So, mm. at this stage in the, in the mission, so far, we're just coasting. Uh, vehicle itself is doing some checkouts. Uh, All right. Operation to gently separate Dragon from second stage. After that point in time, there you go. There's your Yay! Uh, carrying the, the Hisui, the, the spectral imager suite. Wow. Attached to the Japanese uh, module. Wow. And the station battery. Look at all that right stuff. Uh, kind of on the top and bottom. Awesome. There, the flat sections. Those are the solar ray fairings, which protected our solar rays. Ooh. Uh, We're now standing by for about two minutes from now, where those solar ray fairings will uh, release and allow the solar rays themselves to unfold. Mmm. What's unfolding? A solar ray? Solar array. Solar array. Panels. Ah, panels. There it goes, floating like away. Wow, 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 wow. Two minutes, wow, wow, wow. Two minutes till dragons of solar rays? Three, day Three days? From here? We use the solar rays Jeez. Batteries charged wow. The times when we're not in the sun. Oh, good point. Yep, the sun tends to hide away sometimes. Yep. As we make our mission to the space station, our three-day journey. I love how they have this. This looks like it looks like a standard like airplane map, but it's for like space, and like space should be just as routine as airplanes should be. We should be able to go to space. Go in and out. We are showing you a live map of the position of the vehicle. Wow. Always have the the high data rate in order to transmit. Uh, video from the second stage or from Dragon. Uh, there it goes, peacefully on its way. <laughs> All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I know this was a little bit different, but I mean, after 19 missions, I mean, some things, some things just start to degrade. So maybe that's what's happened. I don't know. But you know who knows? You know. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, what's, what happened with the uh, CRS-19. And uh, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Give us a like and a share. Likes are very important for our channel as it gives our tiny channel exposure. And we need your help to defeat the cold void of space. If you want to follow us on Twitter, our handle is YouAreDorkalicious. We also stream live weekly on Twitch. Our handle is Super underscore Dorkalicious. And this has been Lydia. And it's been fun dorking out with you. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, this is Lydia. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. Give us a couple likes and a share. The likes are super important because every time you like, it gives our uh, channel a bit more exposure. So please like. If you don't want to follow, at least like. Please, please, please. Also, um, if you want to chat, please leave a comment uh, down below. Also, if you want to chat more frequently, we are on Twitch. Uh, the channel is called Super underscore Dorkalicious, and we stream pretty much daily, and uh, we'll stream like video games, karaoke, fun stuff. So just uh, pop on over to Twitch, Super underscore Dorkalicious, and definitely engage with us. So, um, but for now, please like and share and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.